What is happening? Here we are. Woo! Hi, everyone. This is my wife, Corey. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. I am Blake. Here's Gunner. He just walked in. <laughs> we are back. I brought a friend. <laughs> How about friends? <laughs> uh, so here we are. We're in seed headquarters. Woo! Welcome, everybody. Um, yeah, we gotta lean in to see like who's here or what. Got a thumbs up. Um, we're gonna do how to style your antidote pants for the summer. Oh yeah. Summer's just around the corner. So we're gonna have a few looks that Corey's gonna put on. Um, man, the girls are winning out there. Right? It's about 70-30, like <laughs> seven out of 10 seed, cut, seed wearers are women. Wow. So why do we do how to style your antidote pants with women, mostly? <laughs> Girls are winning. Representing. So maybe if the boys pick it up, then we'll, uh, we'll do some... some... A man show, a man's plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot wait. Cool. Welcome, everybody. Um, feel free, if you guys want, starting now, ask questions, throw in comments. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is how to style your antidote pants for the summer. Plus, we're going to talk about sizing because we get sizing questions every day of the week. All the time. We're going to dial in sizing. So any questions you have, feel free. Mm -hmm. Before we jump into it, I want to recap because you might have been here for my last two videos. Yeah. Just to mention them. Um, what did we do? I got notes over here. So if you see me looking over here, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah, recycling your clothing. Yeah. That was the most recent video. Um, unfortunately, the video wouldn't save after I recorded it. It's not on YouTube. It is gone in the ether. So it was a really cool video. Um, but recycling your clothing, basically, you know, one of the things I talked about is if you're putting your clothing in a bag and putting it in those community clothing bins, it's basically going to a dump in a third world country. <laughs> It kind of sucks. Um, it's the reality, and that is just something that we're transforming, especially with seed. Buy better Heck yeah. clothing. Buy clothing that's gonna last longer, and fix your clothing. So instead of buying buying like this fast fashion fatty clothing, like fads that come and go, buy for the long term um, and maintain it, fix it, repair it and trade it with your friends, trade it with your community, um, and keep it forever. Owens missed that one. I thought you were there crushing it. Owens here had a bunch of awesome oh, yeah. questions and comments. Um, okay, and then the other one, and we'll jump into the fashion show, the How to Style Your Antidote Pants, in one moment. The other <laughs> one that we did, yeah. the first video that I did, um, maybe a week ago, is it's up to producers to save the world, not consumers. So everybody's always right. saying, you know, I, as a consumer, you gotta buyer beware. You gotta do your homework as a consumer. I threw out the question and actually talked in depth about it. This video is on YouTube on the Seed channel. Yeah. I talked in depth about it, how to actually transform or like really like flip that entire paradigm where Instead of consumers having to buy or beware, mm -hmm. save the planet, what if producers, what if the people who actually make things are the ones responsible? And so we talked all about that. Yeah, you had some thought probing That's the one I was at, yeah. Probes in that one. I yeah. That. It was great, yeah. Totally. You know, if you're a part of something, you can consider yourself as a producer. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, totally. We're all producers, right? At the end of the day. We're all either making something, producing something for others, a service, a product, or we're working for somebody who is producing a product or a service. Totally. All right, that one's on YouTube, so jump over there any day this week and you can view it. But what are we here for? What are we doing? Well, we're here, at, we're here to do how to style your antidote volume, is this five? Four, Four. or five. Four. Um, and you know, amazing. we're going to stay with kind of your theme this week too, because any of the looks that, you know, we show, 
and this is true about my wardrobe too. I, I like the basics. I you know, I really do stick with key pieces that are going to last a long time that can be worn in many different ways and multiple times, get a lot of use out of. So, yep. you know, everything that I'm show, showing you today are things you're going to be able to find in your own closet really easily and totally. get a similar look. So, yeah. sticking with your theme with that, I've picked three looks yeah um that are gonna align perfectly for summer so you know we're almost at solstice we're almost at the official day of summer it is um and we're gonna show you some you know staples on the doorstep mm -hmm. yes okay so i'm we? gonna go get the i'm gonna get the first one on okay all right okay tack them i'm gonna uh, yeah <laughs> i'll be ready i gotta do some q a we are also gonna talk about sizing so keep that in mind if you have sizing questions Ask your questions. I mean, you can ask them now. Um, we're definitely gonna have a section right after Corey's looks where we can talk about sizing. You guys can ask live sizing questions while you're actually looking at Corey wearing the pants or me wearing the pants. How does sizing work and all that? I love summer stolsis. Owens, you're the man. Owens wins for most participatory viewer. <laughs> Or you're winning, I should say. You're winning. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. If you're just joining us, Corey is about to come on out with look number one of how to style your antidote pants summer season. And I'm going to ask her to turn down the music a little bit when she comes because I feel like I'm yelling. How's the volume? <laughs> is that a yell fast here? All right, wow, does this look great? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so look number one is with our- Can you turn on the music first? Oh, I didn't Please. <laughs> wow, look at this look, what a tease. Perfect. Okay, look number one is with the new Kundalini Sacred Seed collection. Come on. And it's just a simple, you know, little sweater thrown over top of actually my bathing suit. So talk about summer. You know, you can find us a lot of times chilling by the river or yep. by water, having just gone for a swim, and then, you know, up to different things throughout the day. So the great news is your antidote pants over top of a swimsuit are going to dry really quickly yeah. and um, feel really awesome. And then, yeah, just a simple top over top of a swimsuit can make a look So flowy, all. so summery. I love the choice. Yeah. And especially with the theme of summer, um, a lot of people are finding they're going to the beach. I mean, you know, we have different beaches here in Canada where we are, like the beach next to the river. Um, but for travel clothing too, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are going to hot, humid, yeah, hot places. And this would be great anywhere hot and humid. It's just super light. I mean, you've got the pants. Um, <laughs> Gunner's licking my feet here. <laughs> yeah, no. Pedicure. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's perfect for those um, hot, humid places too for travel, yeah. for sure. You know, going out at night, you've just come in from being at the beach and then you just want something quick for dinner, to wear out to dinner or for a mocktail, you know, you got dialed in. Totally, yeah, you can totally cover up from the yeah. beach, go out for dinner. This looks great. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, you got your onesie bikini on. Yeah. Whatever those are, it's not a bikini if it's a onesie, but full piece. Full piece. Um, pulling on seed pants after a day at the beach is one of the most comfortable things you can do. And like you said, you'd be amazed, and a lot of you already know how fast it dries. Okay. Best ever. Gunner right. is licking feet. You got a little okay, uh, shoe blister on your feet. That yeah, he tries to make it better. Okay. <laughs> the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Look number two. Look Coming number right one. Up. So, who just went to Costa Rica here? Costa Rica, Costa Rica. Awesome. You guys are killing it here. Oh, um, I don't know how to say your Instagram name. Eames, Alyssa World, Costa Rica in the house. Let's see. I'm gonna scroll comments and see if I missed anything what i found out is that when i'm looking at comments i'm seeing a lot more stuff here than what you guys see on your end so <laughs> if you're like come on man it's not that difficult there's a lot more here when um when i'm the one 
doing the video, I guess, uh, putting the video out there versus watching it. I love your clothes so much. Thank you so much. You guys are the best, man. Um, much love. Okay, so Owen, so what's with your pants? They seem dope, but I don't know much about their functionality. Oh my God, what a question. Let's talk about that, Owens. Um, let's talk about that when Corey comes back. We'll talk about the functionality. Are they for rock climbing? Yes, they are for rock climbing. Someone's trying to join the video. Corey's got look number two. Okay, classic summer look is Indigo Bottoms crisp white white t-shirt on top. Um, this is one of my favorite go-to looks for summer. It's so light and I love the color combinations. Um, you can definitely wear these for climbing. Yes. To answer that question. We um, climb all the time in ours. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. And we see people climbing. I mean, they're, hemp is the most durable natural fiber ever created out there. Mm -hmm. um, back in the day, Christopher Columbus sailed over here with ship sails made from hemp. Why did they choose hemp? Why didn't they choose, well, they didn't have synthetics back then, yeah. but hemp is the most durable natural fiber ever created. Our pants are nice and thin, so they're comfortable as clothing. Mm -hmm. So they're not as thick as ship sails. Um, but yeah, hemp is awesome for rock climbing. Yeah. So just a classic look. And then, you know, like maybe you're out and about doing what you're gonna do. T-shirt, and then you easily wanna go to, you know, your friend's barbecue it cools down at night the sun goes down. down you know we are in alberta so don't be afraid to match your indigo with true denim and make like a double denim you know the denim suit the achy breaky big mistakey <laughs> <laughs> uh, billy like ray to, cyrus i like to layer denim my up jacket, top denim, denim in the bottom i'm like, still going <laughs> sorry <laughs> I like to layer my jacket with a hoodie underneath. I think that's such a cute look. Like I'm all yeah, the layers, separates but again, it. it's just like cozy. You know, looks great. Wow. Yeah, I'm ready. That's I'm ready. a look. These look really cute with like some white bands, your um, Converse, or just you know your Earth Runners flip flops, bare yeah. feet, whatever. We're always um, wearing Earth Runners, which is a cool like sandal, a barefoot yeah. sandal. Yeah. Um, what a look. I love this. And then right. so let's talk about. The functionality, because Owens yeah. here, while you're yeah. off screen, oh, Owens is asking, yeah, Owens is the man. Um, let's see what his, they are the best. Thank you, Evelina, Evelina Glenn. Oh, Evelina Glenn. Hey! What a good supporter. Yeah, you're amazing. Yeah, right? <laughs> are they okay for rock climbing? Let me find this comment. Okay, so Owens asks, what is with your pants? They seem dope but I don't know much about their functionality. Okay, so we don't got a ton of time. Um, we're trying to do these videos in 10 minutes or less. So what do you want to say about functionality for the pants? Yeah, okay, well, so functionally, the fabric itself is pretty amazing. I mean, it's got a cool aesthetic. It looks good, it feels good, right? So that means you can take it to do a lot of different things. Our hashtag, everything you do, literally applies. Um, yes, you can take it rock climbing, you can take it out hiking, you can wear these to the office, you can wear these out for a casual brunch, you can wear these out to play baseball. Whatever you get up to, literally these pants will take you there. Why? Because of the technical attributes of the fabric itself. So they're breathable, they're quick drying. So if you're out doing things um, down by a river, out by some water, you get wet, you're gonna dry quick, not a problem, right? Out in the sun, just lay them out to dry while you get your tan on, you're good to go. <laughs> um, but they're naturally antimicrobial too, so if you're up to things that you get sweaty or hot, like climbing or something like that, maybe they end up in your backpack even and you don't air them out, well, they're not going to be super gross like synthetic fabrics. They still naturally breed. I mean, still take them out of your backpack, do yourself a favor. Yeah, I totally but, um, you know, but then, and then also they're temperature regulating. So again, that technical quality, I'm going from day to night. So if I'm going in this look, you know, I've been out all day and then I'm going to the bonfire at night, it get cools off at night. I'm going to be fine. Why? Because hemp keeps you cool when it's hot and hot when it's, when it's cold. 
we tried tested this in Australia. It yep. was plus 40 on some of the days and out humid. hiking. And humid. Like, wet, yeah. hot air. And we were comfortable in our dotes. And then, you know, went to the cooler evenings and we were in the same outfit. One last thing I want to say about that is that it actually helps protect you, you know, from the sun as well. It's like our fabric, the pants at least, is about SPF 15. Yeah. So it's not 100%, but it does have sun blockage. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's allowing natural, like air flow, breathing yeah. through there. Yeah. So game changer. Yeah. So hopefully Owens, that answers some of your questions around the techni technical function of the fabric. And then in terms of the design and things like that, maybe that we can get into that on the next How to Style Your Antidote, about why you did some of the designs you did, because there's totally. purpose behind everything he did. he's done. It's amazing. In the design, actually, you know what I would love to do is the next you know outfit. Oh, let's get better. into the technical design okay. Okay, because okay, these are functionally brilliant. Yes. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, we got some sweet comments and questions. I need a pair for sure. Thank you so much. Um, we got Kim. But when are you dropping black? Color is way outside my color zone or my comfort zone. <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll give you, we'll talk about that at the end here of the video of this video. We'll talk about black for, um, Kim and for everybody. I really need a pair. Let me, I'm just scrolling through comments here. That is a look though. I'd pair it with vegan leather jacket, belt and shoes. Awesome. Actually Owens, um, I did a really cool video, live video like this, and you can find it on YouTube now on the seed channel about vegan leather. Um, and it's a really cool video. There's a lot of content there. And basically one thing that's really interesting that people don't know about vegan leather, it's made from polyester. It's just plastic clothing. Um, and calling it vegan leather, I get it. Vegan, you know, it's awesome. You don't want to eat animals. You don't want to kill animals. You don't want to support factory farming. I totally get all that. I was vegan for years for the same reason. Um, and I still don't support those practices. So vegan leather though through my research it's it's plastic clothing what's the problem with that um it's gonna break down pretty quickly and once it does you can't really repair it um it the 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 fabric layers sort of separate and um and you can't really repair vegan leather so um just a little comment on that what did I miss here? Okay, cool. I think we're all caught up. Same, I really want a pair. Here's Owens. They sound amazing. And I really want to experience these pants. LOL. Yeah, they will be your favorite pants. And thank you so much for answering my questions. You're welcome. Thanks for asking them. Kim, woohoo, thank you. Yes, yeah, stay tuned to the end of the video. We've got a nice little surprise um, about you people asking for black. Whoa. Okay, so. This is the third and final look. Well, the first piece of it. So again, just a basic, um, you know, plaid shirt. I'm sure all of you have some variation of this in your closet. Basic tank top, and then it. I'm wearing the mustard antidote. Um, again, this is perfect for backyard barbecues for summer. Um, you can it, you can take it to the climbing gym. I could just easily climb in this, throw this over top, and yep. be good to go. Um, That's a look. Yeah. Right. Do you want to, should we talk about some of the functionality? I mean, I love this. I've seen people rocking sort of like a forest green top, like full, yeah. not just plaid, <laughs> with the mustard. And it looking amazing. And now Corey's going like the, almost like the, what kind of plaid would you call this? It's like, it's like, a, it's like hipster lumberjack. I don't know. Hipster like lumberjack. It's, <laughs> it's like, like lighter, it's like, right? Like it's like more summery. Yeah. Yeah. It's still plaid, but it's more summery is what I'm getting yeah, at. Yeah, exactly. So it's lighter. Um, and, and I love the flow, the flowiness up top, but let's talk about, um, to finish our thought about Owens. Mm -hmm. And then I know you've got an A and a B to this look. Yeah. So here's yeah. A. Yeah. And before we get to B, Let's talk about the functionality to answer Owen's question for everybody. Um, okay, so there's a few key elements. The pockets on the lap are actually lower than traditional pockets, um, you know, in jeans or chinos or, you know, a lot of pockets are up here, 
What's the problem with that? Well, when you're sitting like I'm sitting right now, try getting change out of your pocket or try getting your cell phone. Hopefully you guys aren't keeping your cell phones in your pocket by your privates anymore. Um, but that's one of the things with the, with, I call them posture pockets. With the antidote pockets being lower, they're further away from your privates and they're also accessible. While I'm sitting, I can actually go in there and get anything I want. If I was wearing jeans right now, you would see me squirming like crazy to try to get in that pocket. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, there's a harem, as you guys can see, the harem gusset. It's actually really healthy for your privates. Girls and boys, you need room for your privates. Um, girls especially need room to breathe for their privates. Boys need that too. I actually did a really cool video about that. Yeah. Man, I'm remembering all my past videos. Um, so your privates need room to breathe. I'm not gonna get into all that. There's, there's also reason for the harem um, in function. You can move get into all sorts of positions. And when you sit, especially as a man, when you stand and sit, you don't have a seam going right through your crotch this way. If any men are watching, you know you wear dress pants or jeans, that seam crunches your nuts <laughs> or the rest of your package. It's actually not good for below the belt um, areas. The final thing I'll touch on right now and then maybe a bonus one, just if you turn around, just for a sec, Corey, just on like a 45, there used to be in the um, antidote pants, there used to be a vertical butt seam, just like in your jeans, so you can turn back now, um, just like in your jeans or any kind of pants, they typically have a seam right up and down your butt. Why did we take that out? Um, I heard Owens ask about rip tests. That seam, because these are functional pants, people wear them for yoga and rock climbing, that seam would pull. Um, so that seam is now gone out of our pants in iteration number seven or something. I'm always redesigning them to make them better and better every time we produce a new collection. So that's a full one piece all the way down the back. I see, thank you for the advice. What about the Elias? Do you have alternatives to vegan leather products? Maybe we'll do a whole video on that. Um, I do, Owens. We gotta keep this one close, but that's a great idea. Um, alternatives to vegan leather, yes. Yeah, they do, totally. So, you wanna talk about the waistband? Yeah. Yeah, what do you wanna say about that? Well, you designed it this way for a reason, and a lot of people ask about it. So, I think yeah. if you can share with everybody, you know, why? So the, the waist is actually a stretch waist. Uh, why is it a stretch waist? We have no, no um, zippers, snaps, or buttons on the antidote pant. Okay, number one, it costs more to produce clothing with that on there. And um, we wanna give you, you know, the most reasonable cost clothing we can. Number two, if you have a button on your pants that's doing your pants up or a zipper and a button above it, that is a fixed, say it's a 29 inch waist. You go to the store, it says 29 waist, whatever, um, or 34 inch waist, whatever you are. If you have a button and a zipper, that waist is fixed at that 34 inches or that 29 inches. And the truth is about our bodies, our physiology, our waist is expanding and contracting two to three inches every day. And if you're a big guy like me, four inches, every day. That can be uncomfortable trying to be in a fixed size. If you're in a fixed size, that's why we yeah. call it muffin top, right? You stand up, everything flattens, and then you sit down, muffin top, right? Why? <laughs> because there's a fixed, you almost have like a belt yeah. cinched around your waist. A lot of times you have a belt around your pants. Um, so and a, a stretch waist like I've designed, is actually healthy for our digestive system and all sorts of lymphatic system as well. I would love to practice martial arts in these pants. You could mo move so fluidly. Totally, so a lot of people do practice martial arts or natural movement. Um, and then the one final thing, do you wanna pop up the, here, I'll just show it on me quick. So the last thing about functionally brilliant pants, you can pop them up like into a three quarter length pant. And now I can get into a yoga practice 
like this, or I can go rock climbing, and there's no, um, there's again, there's no zippers, buttons, or snaps. It's literally just the fabric that holds it up. So, and a really good design that makes it hold up there. That gives you even more postures that you can get into. And Corey is about to get the B look of the final look. All right, so this look for y'all is inspired by summer in Calgary. You, just, <laughs> you don't know if you're gonna have 25 above or a hailstorm, rainstorm. Um, you, your your doubts match perfectly with outerwear, you know? I got my rain trench on, I got my toque on. I went from, hey, I'm in the backyard making, you know, smoothies. And hummus. And hummus <laughs> to, <laughs> to ah, I gotta go, it's raining. Yeah, um, and this totally. is a great, you know, this is an awesome look for all of our, our homies on the West Coast too. Totally. And followers, you guys, you know all about this. You've got your staple trench, okay? And it looks amazing with your antidote pants. Yeah. So this one's for, for you and for all us Albertans here trying to, you know, be with summer. And again, too, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> and again, too, a raincoat is going to actually repel water. The antidote pant is not going to repel water, but any of the drippings or if you do get rained on, it's It'll dry quick. Dry super quick. Yeah. Um, that's the brilliance of hemp. So we got a couple of questions here. Anything else you want to say about your look? No. <laughs> I'm just going to stay in it though. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, Adrian, Adrian, hope I'm saying your name right. I'm curious about the waistband. On my two pairs, I needed to roll down the fabric quite a bit, so there's a lot of lumpiness. Does this mean I might need an extra small? So I'm thinking you mean extra small, meaning go down a size instead of small. Totally. Um, if Corey comes back, you can see. Hi. Corey, how, what kind of dimensions do you have, Corey? Because I know you wear extra small and small. Yeah. So a lot of people go between two sizes. I do the same. What yeah, kinda... so I mean, for myself, like my my height and what size yeah, yeah, I wear. Yeah. yeah, so I'm about 5'8", and I wear a size 26, 27. Um, and I've got a pretty long inseam, so at least a 32 inch inseam. I like it t usually longer in jeans, like 32 to 33. Why do you care about that? Well, what that translates to in antidote pants is either an extra small or a small. So I'll wear a small for things like going to yoga or going to climbing where I want a little bit of more room in the hip, bum, and thigh, and I'm moving and I really want that um, mobility. Um, the waist will feel comfortable, so will the extra small, um, but I will notice with the extra small, again, it's gonna be a more dialed in fit in the hip, bum, and thigh, and it's more of a crop fit lengthwise. So it sits just like right. an ankle, like a pen, uh, cigarette pant. Um, finish for any of you who know that reference. Um, <laughs> so just above the ankle. Um, and the and other thing, just to touch on that, yeah. that cause she's asking about rolling the waistband. I know a lot of people oh. that will actually roll the waistband. Um, well, I, I don't know a lot of people, but I know people will do that when they're brand new to the antidote pant. And a lot of the reason is mm. yeah. when we do see that happening, it's a woman typically, and they're, they're not used to the harem. They're not used to all the fabric there, and they're used to wearing skin tight um, leggings that or skin tight jeans. That and you did me. that yourself. Well, my first pair of antidote pants, I did exactly that. I would roll down the waistband because I wanted them to the harem to be a little bit higher. So, you know, you can totally do that, or you can just, you know, wear them a little bit higher and let your shirt fall if that's what makes you more comfortable. But here's the thing you're going to get really comfortable with this. When you look down on it and your fresh new pair of antidotes, it looks like a lot of material. It's going to soften as you wash and wear and you're going to adjust to it. You'll, you'll quickly notice why that is like, why the design is the design and how comfortable it is. Um, and once you get used to that, it's like, you're like, yeah, you'll notice that they're, they'll creep down and you'll want the full harem, um, for the comfort. Yeah. But and yeah. Well said. And you will get more comfortable in the pants. Let us know um, offline if there's any other questions you have about that. And for everybody, you can always comment us. You're typically talking to either one of us 
um, whether it's through the website or on Instagram. And we love helping you um, get the perfect fit. Um, let's see what else I missed here. You guys are beautiful. Thank you so much for providing a solution <laughs> to the fashion. Oh, to the fashion scene and my countlessly ripped pants. You're welcome. Yeah, and one of the things that's really cool about seat pants is people find they they buy them and they end up wearing them every single day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, when you go, you know, to put on a pair of jeans after or something like that, it feels like you're in sort of a, like, it's shackled <laughs> in those clothes. They're addictive for sure. Yeah. Here's the here's little Gunner. This is our dog Gunner. Um, okay, and we're gonna wrap right away here, guys. So any final questions? Fire them in real quick, and then I gotta answer the bonus question on, yeah. for the one person who asked. And people have been asking offline as well about black antidote pants. So thanks. I have noticed each time I wash, they get softer and smaller. Thanks. So yeah, as, as you wash, all. Um, just touch on that really quickly. So all seed clothing is pre-shrunk. When you wear natural clothing, sometimes you'll um, get this expansion and contraction thing happening. So as you wear natural clothing, it can loosen and become, it just fits you in all the right places. The tight places loosen up. Yeah. Then you wash it, it will tighten back up. Naturally, natural fibers will tighten back up. It's not like it's a whole size. It's like it's a portion of a size. So that's what you're talking about, um, them getting softer over time and softer and smaller, you said, over time. So there you go. Um, it's an expansion and contraction. And hemp, the beautiful thing, hemp, as it goes on and on. I've had these pants for years now, these um, olive ones, and these are, it's kind of like tissue, like that you blow your nose with. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hemp is very durable, but now it's the softest material and I just love them. So um, it's the gift that keeps giving. Gets better with time. Mm -hmm. All right. There you have it. Some summer looks for your summer inspo. So good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wrap the video right now and I promised that I would answer your question about black antidote pants. Yeah. Because you asked. Uh, um, not just asked once, not just asked twice. I mean, <laughs> I, I managed the, uh, customer inquiries. I get to talk with all you beautiful people and I get so many questions about black. When is black coming when back? When is black back? Please give the people what they want. <laughs> <laughs> I have amazing news for you. I've been working for months on bringing black back and I just got the fabric in. You know that we cut and sew all our clothing here in Calgary. I just got the fabric in, so we are getting ready to do a production run on black antidote pants. What does that mean? What, when will they be available to you? This Thursday. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go live, we're gonna come back and go live, and we're gonna pre launch the pre-order for the black antidote pants. Don't miss that. Oh. What? So what does that mean? We allow people to pre-order the collection that's coming because so many people have been waiting a year, longer, nine months, two years, and I know you want black so bad. We're gonna let you guys pre-order. It's gonna launch this Thursday, and we're gonna kick it off with our live video. Woo! Join us. Don't Much love. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you. Thank you.